describe how great God is. Maybe the solution is to begin to remind yourself the promises that God gave you in His Word and the things that God spoke to your heart and who He called you to be. Maybe the solution is out there instead of all these other things. Come on, are you with me today? We're so good at describing the problem, but I think the enemy wants to shout to get us focused on the wrong thing. And today God is calling us back to the, the place where His voice determines the course of our life. Come on, is there... Are there areas that you know God has spoken to you and you realize, I think the enemy's been shouting. I, I think there's been, there's been opposition in my life. I think there's been some confusion in my life. There's obstacles I'm facing that are just shouting. Maybe you didn't even realize what was going on because they're real things. The real obstacles, the real problem. That was a real giant. Come on, are you with me? It wasn't just a dream. It wasn't a vision. It was a, a legitimate giant. But the fear was not legitimate. The reaction is not legitimate. Because just as David goes, he goes, hey, you know what? It's God. God is going to heal. God's going to defeat him. God's with He's with us. God is going to do He's a real job. But this reaction, that's not legitimate. We can't react that way because God is with us. And in this year, I believe God's calling us to overcome. And, and today, this very morning, I believe God wants to set us free. Many of us that have come and just, just been hampered and hindered by the voice of the enemy, shouting, accusing, intimidating, trying to push you back, trying to keep you down. I think today God wants to speak over your life a word of hope, a word of faith, a word even of deliverance that would set you free and you would never be the same again. That instead of being fearful, instead of being intimidated, instead of being uh, you know, disturbed by all these things, there would come a confidence in your heart about the things of God. That you would be unshakable in your life. And this year wouldn't just be the year of the overcomer in, in your church. This year would be the year of the overcomer in your life. That God enabled you to supersede and to move beyond and to conquer some things that were trying to conquer you. Come on, are you with me today? Do you believe that this morning? I want us to get ready to respond. Let's have the worship team come up here quickly. Come on. If this morning 